Hi everyone in YouTube land. I am back with another video to show you guys how you can use the Samantha Parkington backdrop for Addie's story. It's getting to that time of year where Addie's going to have a birthday and I don't have Addie's backdrop so I'm using the next best best thing. Um, Addie's birthday story does include her passing a confectionery shop that's owned by a man by the name of Mr. Napkin. And she sees some girls sitting in the confectionery shop eating ice cream. And that's what sparks her interest in having ice cream for her birthday. Now, because Addie is African American, she experiences prejudice in a lot of her stories as a focal point. And one of the prejudices she encounters for her birthday story is that she is not allowed to go into the shop to eat ice cream. So um, you guys can recreate your own scene with the Addie doll that um, things improve for her. And here Addie is coming into the shop and getting the ice cream maker. So um, there's one part in the story where her father goes into the shop and asks, about the ice cream and whether I believe Addie can have some and he politely says no uh, somehow I guess in the story he's told no and um, he discovers that there's an ice cream maker a busted ice cream maker that's found in the trash and her father being the smart intelligent man that he is he's able to fix things with his hands because he's a carpenter and so he's very gifted when it comes to um, manipulating items with his hands and making something out of nothing or just um, he's just really good at uh, being able to tinker with things and like a civil engineer or anyone else who is incredibly talented um, is able to put those little things together, little pieces together and make something. So he could have even been a modern day engineer of some sort. But unfortunately, that was back in the 1860s. So because of the discrimination, he was only able to take a job as a carpenter. So anyway, um, since there is no Addie father doll, <laughs> I figure that Addie can go into the shop and ask for the broken ice cream maker uh, since she is not allowed to partake in any of the goodies in the confectionery shop. Now a confectionery shop is a place that probably sold a lot of things that were sugary like pies, candy, cakes, um, and of all else ice cream or how else would um, Addie's father have been able to pick up the ice cream maker in the first place. So um, you'll probably have to cover up some of the things on the scenes and settings as well as the ice cream parlor that say Tyson's. Um, but anyway, using the ice cream parlor, you could set up your display just like this. You could take some of Addie's things. You, I have here some our generation items such as the fruit in the bowls that comes from our generation set. Um, I also have some candy shavings and some marshmallows and chocolate chips that come from the uh, Chocotastic stand that's made from our generation. The candy display comes with the American Girl Tyson's ice cream set um, that they used to sell during the Be Forever days. Um, I don't know if American Girl is still doing Be Forever. I think they are. Uh, the pie comes from Addie's collection. The cake stand comes from the Chocotastic stand from our generation. And these wooden pieces right here is something I think you would find in an ice cream shop because they would need some of these things to create the cakes and candies and ice creams. So I included the salt and paper and the salt and paper, salt and pepper shakers that are made from wood uh, that was offered by Target. And um, of course you wouldn't use pepper for ice cream, but you would need salt just a little bit. You also need salt in a lot of um, cakes, pies, and stuff like that as well. But because salt and pepper usually goes together, I just have salt and pepper here. 
uh, a little canister or a bottle of vanilla would be common. Um, I have some rice, sugar, and flour that's all made of wood from Target, same makers of the salt and pepper, uh, wooden pieces. Rice you could use for rice pudding. A lot of people put ice cream on top of rice pudding. Uh, they also add chocolate chips. Um, also sugar, confectionery, you need sugar, and flour, again, for the cakes. Um, and I have some chocolate sauce here, which you would probably put on top of the ice cream. All right, another thing that Addie's pastime and her cookbook suggest is putting fresh fruit on top of ice cream as well. And the way to preserve fresh fruit is through putting lemon juice on top of the fruit, squeezing a little bit of lemon juice to make it last a little longer and keep it from turning brown. So I don't have any faux lemons here, but I'm sure you guys could probably use Samantha's kitchen backdrop for just your faux lemons if you wanted to show how to make ice cream in Samantha's kitchen. Um, another thing I'll show you guys is how to reference all this material because there are going to be some people who watch the video who are going to say, this is not part of Addie's story. I don't know. I don't remember reading anything about ice cream in Addie's story because you do have haters on YouTube and just like anywhere else in the world, people are going to say something about what Addie's story has and what it doesn't have, what Addie could do and what she couldn't, couldn't do. Um, so because I've read Addie's story a hundred times, I can tell you where to find it. Okay, so I'm going to reference this section of Addie's story where it talks about how Addie's father picks up the busted ice cream maker and how uh, the man's name was Mr. Natkin. And so you guys can even pause and read the section for yourself. I'll even turn back so you guys can get the start of how the Natkins confectionery shop conversation even starts and takes place. You can see that Addie's father is driving the ice cream wagon because his job is to deliver ice. I'm sorry, not the ice cream wagon. He's driving an ice wagon and he needs to drop off ice to the confectionery shop. Um, this version of Addie's story and information comes from her first edition book, Happy Birthday, Addie. Another reference here, you can also reference Addie's cookbook um, where it tells you a little bit about if you wanted to do an ice cream party, what things you can reference uh, for ice cream flavors, and just how to use your freezer to uh, create some of these concoctions that they would have had. Um, around 1865, obviously they would have had an ice box, but we have a freezer and um, a refrigerator to keep all our food cool and from spoiling. So guys, um, just to be clear, um, a lot of people don't have the money and the resources to a lot of Addie's retired pieces. So I want you guys to feel free to use other things that you might have in your doll collection to still um, help Addie celebrate her birthday over the years, especially if you're a doll collector and you do want to set up little scenes like this, um, just so you don't get discouraged. American Girl has given up on creating more things for Addie, I believe, but until they can get it together, um, this is what you can use from other sources such as Target, which does carry wooden pieces, our generation, which carries wonderful doll pieces. And um, you can also get Addie still available from American Girl, but just not a lot of her collection. All right, guys, talk to you later. Hope this has helped.